What's up guys, if you're editing a music video and you want to sync the footage that you shot with the actual audio file that's finalized, this is the video for you. So you could really easily do this with just using the app Pluralize from Red Giant, but in case you don't want to spend all that extra money, I'm going to show you the manual way to do it as well. If you have Pluralize, just drag all of your footage and your audio into one project file and then click the sync button, the rest will be done for you, really. So you'll have the audio track that is all synced. You can bring that into Premiere Pro and just go from there. But if you don't wanna spend all that extra money, no worries, let's jump right in. We've got our audio layer and our first clip. All right, so I'm gonna drag this over here. I'm going to select both the audio and the video. I'm going to synchronize to the audio. And that one worked, so that's really cool. So, instead of just deleting all of this, since this is footage that I actually want to use where they're marching, I'm going to take this part of the clip before the song starts, copy it, delete it from this timeline, and drag it into my footage. Paste it in there. Go back to my normal timeline. And then I'm going to take this, yep, everything's looking great, and ripple delete it so it's right at the beginning. And I'm gonna double check that everything's synced up right. So it's pretty darn close. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here going to drag this up so I can see everything a little bit better. There we go. All right, so that's looking pretty sweet. Usually, um, it's off by just a couple of frames, and I might tweak it a little bit later before I cut everything up. But since it's looking pretty good, I'm going to unlink the clips and play it a little bit to make sure that it still sounds good. All right, so that's this is actually a little bit more off than I thought it was. So I'm gonna zoom in really nice and close here so I can see my frames. And I'm gonna find a spot where I can kind of listen and hear his voice. Just turn it up just a little bit. So right here. I'm gonna grab the video file and shift it just one frame over, see if that makes a difference. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually grabbing um, the cursor or, you know, the whatever this is called on the timeline. And um, I'm listening to the, the like phrasing and I'm looking at his mouth. So what I'm trying to do is just shift the video just slightly to make sure that it syncs up. So like here where he says, where he says wall, right? Wall. Wall. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. This actually looks pretty spot on. So like here you could say, count, right? Right there is where he starts to say count, right? But yep, so this one looks great. All right, this being the case, what I usually like to do, so I'm not accidentally unsyncing things, is I drag the beginning of the video clip to the very beginning 
of the um, timeline. So if for some reason this gets unsynced, then I know that it's supposed to start at the very beginning of the timeline and it'll still be synced up. Awesome, so this one is done. And what I'll usually do here is I will lock the layer. Oops, I'm gonna lock it after I shift these guys up just a little bit. So I'm gonna lock the first layer, that way I'm not gonna be accidentally moving it around too much. And I'm gonna do the next thing with the next piece of footage. I'm going to select it all, synchronize with the audio, okay. And this is what I would assume happens, right? Could not synchronize one or more clips in the current selection because a match could not be found. And that is okay. What we can do is, first of all, try to get it kind of close. So I'm gonna listen through the clip a little bit. Okay, so here, right about here, they start rapping, right? Still wanna, right. Still, so right here, I'm going to actually cut the clip, delete this part, and I'm gonna fix that later. Um, I'm gonna grab the clip where it says, I'm gonna grab that clip and I'm gonna move it over. So in the song, I'm gonna try to find still, right? Right where the clip was starting. So right here, you can see it in the waveform. That's where they're gonna say still. So I'm gonna move still to still, and I'm going to try the sync again. Synchronize. Usually that'll work, sometimes it doesn't. And if that doesn't work, that is not a problem. What we can do is sync it by just looking at it. So, um, let me make this a little more organized here. So I'm gonna zoom all the way in, and I know that I cut it right about where still was, right? So I'm gonna mute the actual track, listen to what was actually happening in the clip. Still, right here, so I'm gonna try there. I know that that's supposed to sync with this part of the waveform. All right. And then I'm gonna try the synchronize one more time. Still doesn't work, no problem. So I'm going to unmute the actual track, which is what we wanna sync it to, and I'm gonna mute the track that is hooked to it, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just watch how they do their phrasing and um, then just sync that up manually. Okay, so this is his line, Demetrius. That one, it looks pretty close, right? Now I'm gonna keep playing it through to just kind of see if it's, if it's off at all. Now sometimes the rappers might not come in at the right time, so you're gonna wanna double check this as you go anyway um, to make sure that you know, it's actually synced up throughout the whole clip and not just synced to one of the times that they accidentally might have messed up. Um, Haters doing good and all. all right, so that's a good part here. Haters, doing Haters right? Good. So you can see he's starting to say good here. Good. That actually looks pretty pretty spot on. Now let me keep keep checking. Guys, a physical can destroy us. And before I 
I'll be a slave. They had to kill me or I had to hang. Couldn't be no house nigga, couldn't be no slave. I'll be that nigga that can try and get away. Yeah. And it's still fuck Trump in a wall, we gon' get that. Still free all of my niggas till they let them out. I know black lives matter, got them. Sounds good. That's a good spot here to double check it since change is so stands out, right? Wait a minute. Change. Change. So, if anything, I am going to move this like one frame to the left. Change. And I ain't talking money in a pocket. Black people, we need some profit. Get the man check. Double check it here. Trump bears want to walk and ride in the tide. And look at our society. We the man change. I said Trump bears want to walk and ride in the tide. Look at our society. We the man change. Yep, that looks better. Let me double check at the beginning. Haters doing good in our hood. So they plot to destroy us. Guys are physical, can destroy us. Perfect. So that looks great. I'm going to unlink this. Delete this. Unmute the track and then drag this over since it doesn't actually touch the beginning, which is shown by this little carrot thing here. Um, that's okay. I'm just going to make sure that I have the layer locked and we can move on from there. I'm going to move this stuff up and out of the way. This is going to be locked. And as long as I always keep the audio track at the very beginning, um, we shouldn't have any problems with everything like syncing together at the end. So I'm going to go into the next clip and do the same thing. And I'm actually going to use a different clip that's maybe just a little easier for you guys to see and potentially hear. So let's use. We'll use this clip here. Now I'm going to do the same thing, drag, select, synchronize to audio. And did you see how the audio moved over here? Now that's okay. Don't panic or anything. Um, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to see if it's actually synced up. Cool. So it's actually synced up, which is, which is great. I'm going to unlink this, delete that. So that's pretty close, right? Now I know that the audio needs to stay at the very beginning, right? So I'm going to just grab both of these clips and move it all the way to the beginning. So that way it's synced with the rest of the stuff. And um, the new track is actually like synced up too. No peace. Huh? Fuck the police. Fuck no justice. No peace. So right here. So right here, peace, right? So it might be a little bit off. And I, sometimes if you can't drag it one of the two ways, you just need to extend it or um, de-extend the clip a little bit. Zoom in. Peace. There's no peace. There's no peace. There's no peace. Might be one too far. No peace until then. It's fuck the police. No justice. Okay. But my partner, they be sweating. Cause seeing what they do to a people, my reflection. Born came and they still call us niggas. Hands up, but they still want to kill us. We the man change. Perfect. So that one looks great too. I'm going to drag that down, make sure that there's zero, zero, um, so I'm not accidentally shifting it when I'm dragging it. And then I'm going to lock it after, yep, double check that it's not, nothing else is on that layer. Locked, right? So. I'm going to go through and um, sync up the rest of these clips and then I'm going to jump back on and show you guys what to do next. If you like this video, definitely subscribe because I have a ton of tutorials coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see next and have a good one. I'll see you soon.